Well, hello, my Earthlings. So, I'm here in the beautiful paradise of Sedona. And um, just really on a spiritual quest. I'm here on a spiritual retreat with my wife, which especially my wife is attending for sure. And it's just been a very, very man magnificent experience in Sedona. It's, I can't even tell you, like the beauty of it, you can't even see it just from this video. I mean, it's very, you have to be, you know, here to see the detail, the beauty with your own eyes. So anyway, guys, what's happening in the sky right now? If you know, right now, Mars is exalted in the sign of Capricorn. And especially Mars is trine to Jupiter, meaning trinal, tricon in Vedic astrology. And this is a very, very beautiful um, trine that is happening. Because Virgo is in, uh, Jupiter is in Virgo, Ma Mars is in Capricorn, two Earth signs, okay? And then two best friends in the Earth sign. So what is this doing? Well, first of all, you have to understand Mars is exalted in the sign of uh, Capricorn. And Mars, oh, I think I see myself now better. So yeah, so Mars is exalted in the sign of Capricorn. And what this shows that right now, we are here to take the right righteous action. Our energy level is very high. Our confidence is very high. Our discipline is very high towards accomplishing our goals. Mars is a very fiery planet. It is a tamasic planet, meaning that it, its energy works off of protection. It doesn't work off of nourishment, enjoyment. It works off of protection because tamasic is the energy that can be known as the dull energy that's known as the you know the lethargic energy but it's also known as the energy where malefic planets are always trying to protect themselves and they will they're really ready to defend themselves to uh, against any threat so this is why mars being exalted here is ready to protect itself protect the native the individual you know against any kind of um threat any kind of like um uh, warmongering now especially right now regarding depending upon which ascendant this is occurring in your horoscope um, you will see that 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 is where you are absolutely concentrating your focus and your energy and your discipline because Mars is energy Mars is discipline you know Mars is strength and action you are here to now put forth your action into play and now Mars is receiving the aspect of Jupiter from the Earth sign. See, Earth sign are really the Artha signs, the signs that makes us go to work. It's not really about earning money because remember, when astrology was first created 10,000 years ago, 18,000 years ago, literally, it's not even 5,000 years old. It's 18,000 years old, if not more. Because the original form of astrology is known as Nadiamsa, which apparently, you know, um, Saptarishi, she's have discovered Sunil from Saptarishi you know he's the one who actually found out that whoa that's the oldest form of astrology it's not even Parashra it's not uh, obviously Western astrology far 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 younger than this so back in the days it wasn't about the Artha houses were not about um, earning money creating wealth Artha was to perform your duties perform your uh, righteous deeds towards your guru because your dharma is different in astrology right the fire signs represents the, what you're here to learn artha is the work that you need to do to learn those things so this is why mars in the artha signs makes a person disciplined towards the teachings of their gurus their you know their mentors they're willing to die for their mentors and to uh, do the work for the uh, guru but especially now we have to update that and due to this especially in you know um, 
mundane uh, world, mundane times, now you see people with this type of a uh, Mars wanting to always w have victories in whatever they do. If they go to war, they want to have victory. They will die. Uh, if they do not, uh, they will not come back without victory. They'd rather die on the battlefield. If there is somebody in the business world, they will want to be the number one business person out there. You know, they cannot say no for an answer. But because Jupiter also the biggest benefactor from the sign of Virgo, the Earth sign again, looking at Mars gives great amount of inspiration to Mars. Now people are feeling inspired that, okay, I am now ready to really go out and achieve the goals that I have set up by for myself. So this is a beautiful trine because the motivation factor is now really being energized through the positivity of Jupiter. And obviously now you also have Mar or Saturn and Mercury in Scorpio conjunct. And this shows us that our communication, our ability to relate through our communication is really all about understanding the other person through depth. We no longer want to right now communicate about smaller things. We don't want to communicate about gossip. We don't want to communicate about what's happening in our mundane life. It's all about wanting to communicate about the deeper issue, whether it's a deeper psychological issue, secretive issue, occultic issue, mystical issue. And especially we're now restricted in how we communicate. Whichever house this conjunction is happening through your moon or through your ascendant, you will notice that those are the houses where you are now very cautious about should I communicate this or not? Should I, uh, you know, go forward with what I want to say? Because there's cautious, there's fear, there's, uh, there's like this an anxiety like, hmm, what if I say something wrong? That's not going to come out right. So this is a very, very important conjunction as well. And Saturn, as you know, is about to move into the sign of Sagittarius within like a month. So Saturn is really at that end point where Saturn is about to go through a very powerful electromagnetic field because anytime planets transfer from 29th degree and before one degree becomes a transition point uh, they, where the electromagnetic field is very, very strong, especially if any child being born from 29 degrees onwards before one degree of Saturn, they will have the most powerful work ethics because Saturn is work ethics. So when it comes to Mercury, your logic, your communication, your ability to manage things become very strict right now, very principled. That, and, but then there's also this worry that comes into play. Oh my God, things are not going right. What's going on? You know, I need to just make sure that everything just uh, balanced out. Otherwise, I'm just not happy right now. So it, it's a very, very, um, you know, impactful conjunction, especially on your um, senses, on your nervous system. Because if, th if you don't do the thing the right way, then it just bothers your nervous system. If you don't manage your money right, it's right not going to bother your system. Uh, good thing is Venus has moved into the sign of Sagittarius. Where now, see look, I'm, I'm like Donald Trump. Well now people, Venus is in Scorpio. My God, what am I, I'm becoming Donald, no! So anyway, uh, Venus is in Sagittarius. And this shows great inspiration coming through love. The relationships that you want to create, the relationships that you have been wanting to work on, whether it's your marriage, whether it's your children, whether it's your parents or your friends, you want to find higher ground to deal with them. You want to find a more um, broader ground to understand relationships and love. And so this is the period where people would be inclined towards traveling like, hey, <laughs> like me traveling to enhance the relationship with their loved ones so especially like i'm here with my wife my mom my kids and especially you know i wanted to do this for my wife because she wanted to attend this spiritual um retreat so i'm like hey if it helps you expand your senses, it helps you expand yourself that bio means go for it you know go for and understand yourself to the higher plateau so this is what i'm doing now i'm, I'm showing my love to my spouse, to everybody, to bringing them into this serene environment. Sagittarius is this environment. This is where the gurus are. This is where the teachers are. So that's what's, uh, you know, inspiring us right now in the sky. And obviously, uh, Rahu and Ketu are still in Leo and Aquarius. So they're doing their thing, as I explained in the last video. But I just wanted to discuss these 
the smaller movements and how they are bringing this you know inspiration in our life okay so guys if you're new to my channel subscribe below again if you want to know where your planet play are placed what your sun is what your moon sign is so you can study your transit from there all my books and consultations for that check out the links here otherwise we will see you maybe in like two weeks for a december horoscope all right bye bye